Jimmy's on the stand. I got broads in the land. Just took a V in the fan. Pretty cars and scams. Hitting the licks in the van. Legacies. Man. What is up, YouTube? Brandon Gaming here, back in with another video. So, lately I've been online uh, watching some YouTube videos, and I've seen there's a lot of problems with this ZTE Max Z phone. Um, I actually own one, I'm actually recording with it right now, and my brother actually owns one too, but he ended up breaking it and getting a new one from a buddy, and, well, uh, he couldn't get into the phone because the old Gmail on it still required a password. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to show you how to actually access it. And you would have to do this every time uh, the phone cycles. So if you turn it all phone off and then you turn it back on, you're going to have to do it again to get back into the phone. So just my advice, try to keep it on the charger, you know, um, but this is a very temporary but effective way to get into the cell phone if you have to get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that guys now. I'm going to go in here real quick. So we're going to go in here and we're going to check this out. Alright guys, now we're back in here. I have it plugged in, uh, connected onto the charger. Um, this phone does not have any internet on it, so I have my other cell phone here beside it um, for another purpose, which I'll show you. Okay, so this cell phone... It might look a little different for some people. There's a vision setting button here. Typically, there's not a or a just it's just the emergency button. Now, if you're able to do it this way, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, if you're able to hold two fingers down, then it should say something, and then you hold it again, and it will pop up. Well, for some reason, I don't know why this one is doing this, but what I do to, in or uh, besides just pushing the two fingers. Um, what I do is I click on the vision settings and we're going to hit top back and you want to turn top back on. Now before I turn this on real quick, let me explain something. What's going to happen is it's going to start uh, speaking. So if you hear anything in the background, it's just the voice on the phone, um, which I'll show you how to disable it, which I like to do it pretty quick. So what I'm going to do, uh, just follow my steps and uh, follow my advice and I promise you, you'll get into your Z Max, no problem. So what you're going to do is you want to turn on the top back. Now as soon as you turn this on, you're going to want to hit the back button. The back button on here is on this side for me because uh, previously it was switched over. It's default on this side. So it's this button right here. Um, but for this one, it's this one. So I'm going to click OK. Talk back on. Talk back tutorial. Showing items 1 to 3 of 5. Now the way you scroll is with... The way you scroll, I'm going to have to shut this girl up. Talk back. You can customize this device to fit your needs. These accessible. Okay. All right. Let me explain what just happened there. So you scroll with two fingers up and down. And with the way you click on stuff is you tap once. So this back button up here, you tap once out of list. and then you double tap it and Welcome. it will leave. Now what you do at this point, this is a very critical stage of be very careful, okay? What you want to do is you want to take your one finger and you want to push here and you do like a C motion, okay? So you want to go Global context like that. Menu. Talk back. So once that happens, Showing you want to click right to here. Text to text speech settings. settings. Text to speech settings. Text to speech settings. Now what you're going to do at this point is you're going to slide with menu. two fingers across this way to open this menu bar right here. You want to slide down. All the way down to access accessibility, and you want to turn off talk back. On. Talk back. Talk back. That way, there you don't have to worry about Stop hearing it at this back. point. Okay, but so there won't be no more talking. Now you can just touch normally. Okay, now you want to swipe these back over, and you want to click home, and you just go down to your apps, and you want to go all the way down to YouTube. And once you get to YouTube, you want to click on notifications and you want to see this little gear right here you want to click on the gear and once that happens it's going to bring up this now like I said I remind you this does not have internet so I'm going to show you it um, the best way I can okay so what's going to happen is you want to click on uh, about and Google privacy policy once you open that up it's going to open up Chrome now what's that going to do? It's going to take you to the privacy policy on Google Chrome. Now don't worry about that. I want you guys to do this instead. I already have it on here 
in my downloads this is what you need to download I already have it on here so what I can do is I can just click it install it and I can show you step by step from there so what I'm going to show you here on this cell phone is this is the website that you're going to need to go to in order to get the uh, this application so what you want to do is you want to go to this website and I'm going to show you what the website looks like so what you want to do is I'm going to open it up real quick and just show you this is what's going to bring up on this phone so instead of me you know once you type it in up here in this bar that website I just showed you you type it up here in this bar it's going to pop up this what you want to do is you want to scroll down you want to click latest versions and then you want to click download now once you click download what's going to happen is it's going to start popping up in your downloads downloading once it's done you want to open with package installer hit just once or always whatever your preference is now quick shortcut maker you want to click install once you click install it's going to install for a second and what you want to do after that is you want to want to open the application do not click done click open so once this installs the only reason why I showed you this cell phone um, here is because like I said this doesn't have internet so that's why I had to show you what the page looked like on that phone so what you want to do like I said click open and what you're going to do is you're going to go from here okay so this is what it's going to look like it's going to look like a a normal kind of like app I'm sorry if the video is a little shaky um, I'm recording with a cell phone on a cell phone it's weird alright so what you want to do is you just want to keep scrolling down until you find launcher 3 okay now you want to just click the first one underneath it so click this one right here the this one click that one and then click try and there you go now you're in your phone it's accessed and you're good to go yeah guys that's how you get into a ZTE Max Z phone I know it probably wasn't uh, the most best described detailed video out there but I really hope that helps a lot of you but anyways guys leave anything in the comments let me know uh, what you think if there's any questions leave a like uh, hopefully this helped you out I know a couple people requested uh, me to make a video on this. anyways guys I'll catch you in the next one peace out